everyone welcome aboard hello how are you guys doing today today i just wanted to have a quick chat with you an idea i had and in the background just so because i thought about just doing this like a webcam only but i felt like that would be kind of i don't know it wouldn't be as fun so i wanted to do in the background i'm trying to ivy uh and ability and nature breed my droopy here for competitive if you didn't see yesterday's video, I posted a video about our doing a showdown match with the team I'm going to be having in this game. But today I want to talk to you about an idea that I had, and I would just show you the... Cody and I were, like, talking about this idea, and I would just show you, like, the original clip of it. But it was, like, midnight, and we were both kind of talking like this. Like, we were just kind of both, like, really tired. So, I didn't want to do that. So instead, I just wanted to re-kind of just talk about, elaborate on our ideas. So basically, it is a better way to, for like, for, or for Pokemon to allow us to breed for competitive Pokemon. Because the system that they have right now, and obviously, I am in no, like, room to talk and just barge in here and demand stuff. I'm just saying, this is just my idea. That if this were to ever happen, it'd be pretty cool. So right now, if you don't know... Uh, you probably do though the pretty much the way to breed the most efficient is if you get a six iv ditto six perfect iv ditto which is to get one legit like not cheating is basically impossible so your best bet realistically is to try to find at least a five iv ditto oh that zigagoon almost ran into me and became roadkill just now um so and then once you get your pokemon in there then you get the Pokemon you want to train, and you just do this, what I'm doing right here. You just keep running back and forth, collecting eggs from your Ditto and your Pokemon that you're training. And you just keep hatching them until one of them will eventually become the Pokemon uh, setup that you want. And then once you get the perfect IVs, then you have to go through the whole process again now with the nature. And then you have to go through the process again now with the ability. And this process, if you're lucky, you could do it in one go. Like, you could hatch one egg and it work. Or if you're unlucky, you could be like, this morning when I was, uh, what, it was either my Toxtricity or my Pelipper that I was going for. I went for both. It was the Pelipper because I went for the Toxtricity. It took me an hour to get the right Toxtricity. And then for my Pelipper, it took me five hours this morning of doing this right here, running back and forth on this bike, five hours to do that. And that is, I mean, I think that's kind of ridiculous. So I'm going to tell you my idea. And you know, I just realized I'm one of those freaking, this is one of those videos where we're now th like three minutes in and I'm just now getting to the idea. I hate when people do this. I'm sorry. Okay. Here's the plan. Oh, crap. Well, I accidentally, uh. I actually got too many eggs before I started hatching them. So here's my idea. What you do, if you guys remember, if any of you played Gen 1, I believe it's Gen 1, right? Where you have to go save Bill because Bill gets himself into a predicament where he accidentally morphs himself into a Pokemon. And this idea is kind of based on doing that almost. So what I would say you have to do is we're going to use Rillaboom for the example because that's one of the starters. So let's say... You beat the whole game with your Rillaboom. I can't get grab that egg right now because these eggs won't even hatch. I don't know why. So you get your Rillaboom. You play through the whole game, and you've beat it. You've beat the Elite Four or the Champion League, whatever, whatever game it is. We're gonna use this game as an example. So you beat Leon, and now you want to start getting into competitive. So what I think you should be able to do is get your Rillaboom to level 100. Which would be easy, especially in this game, because of max raids. So I think you should get the Pokemon that you want to be level 100. And then, I think you should have to go catch a Ditto. And I think the Ditto should be any level, any nature, anything, any IVs. You just have to catch any Ditto. And then, from there, you would take your Pokemon that you want and your new Ditto. So you, you would just stock up on Dittos. And you would take your Ditto, and you would go to, like, Bill's Lab. They can call it whatever they want, but I'm just going to say Bill's Lab, just like in Gen 1. And Bill would let you put your Rillaboom in one caps capsule and put your Ditto in the other capsule. And then if you pay him, like, in money and or watts, then you can, like, walk over to the his PC 
and select the exact attributes that you want. So you could select, I want six IVs, or I just want five IVs and I want this IV to be nothing. And then you select the ability you want, you select the nature, and you select all the moves, and Bill, however much money they want to charge you, or Watts, Bill would take your two Pokemon, your Ditto and your Rillaboom, and like seemingly morph them together, just like how he accidentally does it to himself in the game. And then, like, you know, he reverses it. So, the reason why I think this would be fair is so you still have to grind to get your Pokemon to level 100. You know, you won't be able to do 100 Pokemon in a day. You'll still only be able to do so many a day. Because you have to grind to get your Pokemon to level 100. And then, you have to go find a Ditto and catch it. Which, obviously, once we know where the Ditto locations are. Like, in this game, we know the Dittos are in Lake Outrage. So, you have to find a Ditto. And then, you take your Rillaboom and your Ditto and you turn that into one Pokemon. So, you're sacrificing two for one. And I feel like that is enough give and take to where it's still a little bit of a challenge to get the competitive team you want because that's what they want they want it to be like they want you to really grind for it but it won't be impossible like it like right now it's seemingly impossible i mean how many people can honestly say that through a whole year of pokemon that they've created every one of their pokemon and every one of their teams legit like they went out and did it all legit most people either hack or they buy from a hacker because doing this, what I'm doing right now, like, sure, this is taking me five and a half hours for one Pokemon. Like the Pelipper this morning. Sometimes it only takes one hour. But that's just for my first team. That's my first six Pokemon. Now, what if I don't like my six, my team and I got to make another team? Or let's say I want to go to a tournament. And since I'm going to go to a tournament, you usually, I mean, I would feel like you'd want to bring more than one team, right? Just like as a just in case. So, I mean, it's this... It's just unreasonable. So I feel like this new method, this is just like, once again, I don't expect this to ever happen. But I just wanted to share my thought with you guys. Maybe, maybe this is something that you guys would actually like. And maybe if it's something you guys like and people start talking about it, maybe something that could happen in the future. I don't know, but this is something that Cody or Tig, Tig and I were talking about the other night. And I just thought it was like too good of a video or an idea to not sh like share to you guys. So that's all I got. Guys, look down in the description below for the ROE, ROE apparel. As you can see, I'm wearing the same hat and shirt as I did yesterday. That is because I don't get to play that often. So when I do get to play and record, I try to play and record multiple videos. So yes, I do shower and change my clothes every day. Just sometimes for my videos, I wear the same clothes. That Zigagoon almost became roadkill. All right, see you guys later.